Hi, this is Jim, and I want to give you an overview of MyPhotoApp.com. First, let me show you some of the features and functions of MyPhotoApp, and then I'll actually show you how quick and easy it is to build your very first app. So this is what the screen will look like when you log on for the very first time. You'll have the App Management tab over here on the left, which will let you manage your apps. It'll let you create new apps. It'll let you delete apps. It'll let you rename apps. It'll even let you provide statistics on your apps. But until you create your very first app, those functions are not available. Over here is the Help panel. If you click on Help, you can get access to our knowledge base, which has the most frequently asked questions that people ask. If you have any new questions or uh, even find a bug, or anything that's unique to you, just click on Submit Feedback to Jim, and in there you can uh, specify information here like this. You can type the feedback type, like this is a bug report, and you can type in whatever you want, and then you click Submit Feedback to Jim. I won't do that. And what's new tells you what's new in this release. The Settings tab is probably the most important place to go to first. Let me click on that. In the Settings tab, you have various options, such as you can set your password, mine's brown cow. Shh, don't tell anybody, but I'll change it so you won't know what it is. I'll change the secret. And next is the, the brand settings tab. This is an important tab because this lets you to enter the information about your brand or your company, such as the name, the URL, the client contact email, and so forth. At the bottom of here, we have the logo. Here's my logo, myphotoapp.com, of course, but you can select your own logo and click on this and upload it to the system. I'll leave that logo alone for now. The App Settings tab lets you specify the color scheme of your app. These are the colors you want that will match your brand colors. So you can specify and customize these apps to really make it your own. You can type in the color code if you like, or if you want, you can click on this little color box, and up comes a color palette, and you can select whatever color you want. Like I can bring this down there and bring it all the way to black if I want, and that's fine. The question marks provide you a little bit more information about what these colors are used for. The app custom text lets you specify any text you want on the app and optionally a link of where you want to go. See our current work, and then you can type in a URL um, like HTTP, the, the Facebook.com slash whatever your, your, whatever your Facebook is. You get the idea. I'm going to leave that blank for now. Okay, email template. Every time MyPhotoApp creates an app, it'll create a custom email for you that you can send to your client. This is the default email right here. You can come in here and type this and change over this to anything you want so you can make it personalized to your brand or, or whatever message you want to send. The builder theme. This lets you actually change the color scheme of the builder. Right now I'm on a color theme called Blitzer. And if you want, you can click on I'll click on black tie just to show you that and it changes the color scheme. So if you don't like the red color scheme, you can change the black. And there's a bunch of other color schemes down here you can choose from. You can see we have a bunch. I'm gonna turn it back to Blitzer, because I like Blitzer. And there we go. Okay. Finally, should you decide that you want to purchase my photo app, you click on the license tab. The first line up here tells you when your license will expire. And if you want to purchase uh, an extension or any license you want, you type in the code you want, like 12 month or six month or whatever. So I'll type in a six month and click apply code. And as you can see, it's now a six month pro license for $99. You can click PayPal and we'll take you over to PayPal where you can complete your transaction. Once your transaction completed, your expiration date will automatically be updated. So there's no voucher codes or anything you need to to purchase or type in, so it's all automatic for you. All right, so that's the overview of the general settings and the general layout. Let's actually go create our very first app. So we need to go back to App Management, and we need to click the Create App button, and we got to give the app a name. I'm going to give this app a name of Sarah, and click Create New App. So now we've got the Sarah app created. Now I've got a, I can give it a title, like I can say Sarah Smith. Oops, if I could spell it, it would be great. Sarah Smith. Okay, and if I want to, I could rename this app, or I could delete this app, or I can calculate statistics. Next, I'm going to click on the Load Images. And this is the tab where you add images to your application. So there's two ways of doing it. You can either drop files, you know, drag and drop them on here, or you can actually click and choose. I like the drag and drop feature, so I'm going to come over here and grab some images, come over and drop them in, and as you can see, the images are starting to upload. As they upload, 
Uh, it tells you the status when each one is uploaded. And once they're all uploaded, it'll say all files uploaded. Next, we need to go over to the Manage Images. We click on that tab, and here's our images. And we have uh, lots of things we can do on this screen. We can uh, change the order of the images by clicking on the border and sliding it around. And here, I'll move this around like this. If we want, we can delete images that we no longer want. Like, I don't want this one. I'll just delete it. And away it goes. Let me delete another one just for fun. Boom. Okay, the next thing we can do is we can select the icon image. That's the one with the heart. The only one can be an icon image, so I'll select this one to be the icon image. And you'll notice that this heart got unhighlighted, and this one's highlighted. We can add a link to the images, so when they tap on the image, it goes there by clicking on the link tab. I won't do that for now. And finally, we can change the thumbnail for the images. The thumbnails are shown on the first page of the app by moving this little box around and selecting what we want for the thumbnail. And we can also cause it to zoom in if we want. So we can resize the box any way we want. So I think that looks pretty good right there. I'm happy with that. The next thing we can do is add videos. To add a video, click on the down arrow, and then you enter the URL of the video. I'm just going to add this one right here because it's right here and it's easy. But you can go off to YouTube, find your video you want to add, and click it. Paste it in. Click Add Video, and there it is. And if you want, I can click another one. And this is an Animoto, so you can either use a YouTube or Animotos and paste it in and add video and it add it down here. And if I don't like the order of the videos, I can just drag and order them into the order I want. Okay, so much for that. Next thing we need to do is publish. It's that simple. So the publish, we have various options, like if I want to play where I want to place the icons, if I don't want it to send me an email, and I'll do that. I just want to have it send me an email for publishing this. And then you can close this up when you got your options you want. And then you click publish, and it's that quick. So now we've got our app created. I'm going to click on this link right now so you can see what the app looks like. And it loads up. I've got my logo up here. I've got my color scheme. I've got my sheer app icons. There's the images. Oh, down here's my videos. And finally, my contact links. Now, the videos work just by clicking on them. And I can click on any one of these images and it'll go zoom up to large size. I'll click the X to get back. And that's pretty much how the app works on the device. Going back to the My Photo app, I've got the sample email I mentioned where it fills in the information and also shows the link to it. Uh, you can copy and paste this, or if you had my photo app send you an email, it'll have that information as well. The other option, or the other feature we have here is the QR code. If you want, here's a QR code you can add to your marketing pieces, and when people scan it with their devices, it'll take it take them right to their app. And finally, if you want to deploy your app on your own server, you can click on this tab, and we'll show you how to do that. That's a little complicated for our introduction here, so I won't go into that. But that's pretty much everything there is to know about my photo app. It's pretty simple. I hope you have a great time creating apps, and give me feedback. I'd love to hear how this is working for you.